Chapter 1 Evolution of Computers We are living in an era of technology where all of us are surrounded by technology. This era is the advanced age of computing technology. But it was not the same always. Initially, computers were not this advanced and were not in the reach of common people. Computers were primarily used by the scientists. But nowadays, computers are used by almost everyone and everywhere, from hospitals to banks, from school to homes, from airport to railway station. There is hardly any place left where computers are not used. In this chapter, we will learn about the history of computers through which modern computer came into existence. History of Computers Computer is a multitasking and useful machine which can perform huge calculations. In earlier times, there were different types of calculating devices used for performing calculations. Right from Abacus, the first counting device, many devices were invented leading to the development of the computer. Let us study about some important calculating devices. Early Calculating Devices Abacus was the first calculating device. It is considered to be invented in China around 3000 BC. It was made up of a wooden frame with vertical rods, each having beads. It was used to perform simple calculations like addition, multiplication, subtraction and division. It is still used in Asia and Africa. Napier's Bones This device was made in 1616 by a Scottish mathematician Sir John Napier. It had numbers carved on bones or strips of wood. It was used for addition, multiplication, subtraction, division and to find the square root of a number. Pascaline Calculator In 1642, Blaise Pascal invented the first mechanical calculator, the Pascaline. It consisted of a rectangular box with movable wheels. It could be used to perform basic arithmetic operations just like a calculator but could be used for 1000 digits. Leibniz Calculator Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, the famous German mathematician, improved on Pascal's machine in 1671. Leibniz Calculator was a mechanical device. Apart from performing addition and subtraction, the Leibniz Calculator could even do multiplication, division and find square roots. Difference Engine 1822 Difference Engine is invented by Charles Babbage, who is regarded as the father of computers. Difference Engine is a working model of mechanical computer, which is based on the principle of finite differences. It uses only arithmetic addition and removes the need for multiplication and division, which are more difficult to implement mechanically. The project was commissioned by the British government. Due to its high production cost, the funding was stopped in the middle and the machine was never completed. Analytical Engine 1833 Charles Babbage conceived a more ambitious machine, the first general purpose programmable computer engine, later called Analytical Engine. It has many essential features that are found in the modern digital computer. The machine was programmable using punched cards. The engine had a store where numbers and intermediate results could be held. It also had a separate mill where the arithmetic operations were performed. This engine was also capable to perform direct multiplication and division, parallel processing, microprogramming and a lot more. Unfortunately, like Difference Engine, this machine was also not completed. 
Tabulating Machine, 1884. Herman Holrith was an American statistician. He designed a machine that can read and store data from punched cards, which is known as tabulating machine. This machine could read data, process it, and could also give the desired output. Generations of computers. Similarly, as humans, computers also have generations. The generation of computers is based on the development of technology used in computing. First generation computers, 1940 to 1956. The first generation 1G of computers was based on vacuum tubes. They were large, had small internal storage and were very expensive. The punched cards and paper tapes were used to input data. Operating system used was batch operating system. Examples of first generation computers were Mark I, ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer, EDVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. This generation of computers use machine language. Disadvantages They used to occupy a lot of space. They used to generate excess amount of heat. The power consumption was too high. They were expensive, not portable, unreliable and constant maintenance was required. The speed was very slow, not versatile and very faulty. Mark 1 Professor Howard Aikens built the first electromechanical powered computer named Mark I in the year 1944. It used punched cards and a typewriter for input and output. Mark I was much more reliable than early electronic computers. ENIAC ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer was the first fully electronic general-purpose digital computer. It was invented by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946. This computer consisted of 18,000 vacuum tubes which made it 1,000 times faster than the Mark I. It was capable of adding two large numbers in 200 microseconds. EDVAC EDVAC stands for Electronic, Discrete, Variable, Automatic Computer. It is a modern type of computer which came into existence with the software developed by John Von Neumann. This software was written in binary code. The practice of storing data and instructions in binary code in the memory was initiated by John von Neumann. With the collaboration of Presper Eckert, American electrical engineer, and John Mockley, American physicist, in a consulting role, Neumann developed EDVAC using binary code in 1950. EDVAC was basically an improved version of ENIAC. UNIVAC UNIVAC-1 Universal Automatic Computer was another successful invention of John Mockley and Presper Eckert in 1951. It was the first computer that could handle numeric as well as textual data. The UNIVAC had 5200 vacuum tubes. Second generation computers 1956 to 1963. The second generation 2G computers used the technology of transistors. So they became smaller in size, faster, cheaper, more reliable, better portability and more efficient than that of the first generation computers. They used punched cards and magnetic tapes as input devices and output was displayed on printouts. They use assembly language. The use of Fortran, BASIC, 
and COBOL programming languages came into existence with this generation of computer. Disadvantages Cooling system was required with constant maintenance, only used for specific purposes, costly and not versatile. Examples of second generation computers were IBM 1401, IBM 350, Univac 3, RCA 501, NCR 300 series and so on. Third generation computers 1964 to 1971. In third generation 3G computers, the technology of integrated circuits popularly known as chips are used. A chip could contain thousands of transistors within it. Because of this, they became smaller in size as compared to the second generation computers. They were faster, cheaper and more efficient. They use keyboard as an input device. Monitors and printers as output devices came into existence. This generation of computer used operating system which make it possible to run many different applications at one time. Examples of third generation computers were IBM 360 series and 370 series, ICL 1900, Univac 1108, Apple 1 and Univac AC 9000 and so on. 4th generation computers 1972 to present The 4th generation 4G of computers are the ones which we are using nowadays. The development of microprocessor technology brought a revolution in the generation of computers. Microprocessors are combinations of thousands of integrated circuits onto a single silicon chip using VLSI very large scale integration and ULSI ultra large scale integration techniques. Besides monitor and printer, various new devices such as plotters and speakers have evolved as output devices. These computers are smaller, efficient, reliable, having large storage capacity, very powerful and multitasking. The present-day computer laid the base for the development of networking technology and internet. Examples of fourth-generation computers are desktop computers, Apple Macintosh, IBM PC and so on. An IC, integrated circuit, containing about 100 components is called LSI, large-scale integration. An IC containing more than 1000 components is called VLSI, very large scale integration. Fifth generation computers, present to future. The fifth generation 5G of computers are also known as supercomputers. This generation of computers uses ULSI, ultra large scale integration chips. They have very high performance speed, storage capacity and can carry out complex calculations. Due to these qualities, 5G computers are used in weather forecasting, research and development and so on. The examples are Cray CS300. The first supercomputer of India was Param 8000 year 1991. The main drawback of computers was that they cannot think on their own. But in the fifth generation of computers, a new branch of computer science was brought into focus known as AI, Artificial Intelligence. AI is a branch of computer science which deals with making the computers think and take decisions like human beings. So. The fifth generation of computers will have the power of human intelligence and power of reasoning. These computers are still in the development stage. Characteristics of a computer A computer has certain characteristics 
that make it different from other machines. They are as follows. Speed. Computer works very fast and relatively at high speed. Its speed can be measured in instructions per second. A computer can perform large numbers of calculations in a fraction of seconds. Accuracy. Computer is very accurate in any situation and any calculation. There will be very little possibility of any fault in the output if given input is right. Diligence. A computer does not get tired and can work for long hours. It can do the same work again and again with the same accuracy and speed. High storage. The modern day computer is capable of storing large amount of data and programs for future use. This can be retrieved whenever required. Versatility. The modern day computer can perform a variety of different tasks. It is used at various places such as homes, hospitals, banks, offices and schools for performing various activities. Connectivity The web of computers is spread over the world that helps forming a global network called Internet. This connects millions of computers that facilitates exchange of information and proper communication. Limitations of a computer A computer is a powerful machine, but it has some weaknesses, which are given below. Zero IQ A computer does not have any intelligence or IQ, intelligence quotient of its own. It works only within the limits of what it has been instructed to do. For example, if the input is wrong, it gives the wrong results. Lacks decision-making power a computer is not capable of taking any decision on its own because it cannot think. When an unexpected situation arises, it gives incorrect results or abandons the job altogether. No heuristics. Heuristics is the ability to learn from past mistakes. Computers do not possess any such ability.